Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. Today, Whitney and Kara and I are at the Pictured Rock National Lake Shore. We're going to check it out, even though it's kind of stormy and windy. Uh, yesterday, we went to Kitchen to Kippy and, and played around with Kara. And today, we're checking out some more Munising. Oh, yeah, and Kara can't wait to go. So let's go. to the Picture Rocks National Lakeshore. It's very cold and windy. We picked up some trash and Kara had a good play in the sand and she barked and barked and barked at some people and that's good. Now we're gonna go around and try and check out some waterfalls in the greater Munising area. Now we are going up to Munising Falls. Thank right. you. Yes. What's his name? Her name's Kara. Hi Kara. How are oh you? Oh my land, is she gorgeous? Yeah, it's a beautiful dog. Oh, yeah. feel like going up there. Well, why is everybody going up there and not up here? I think, okay. What's the difference? I don't know. Munising Falls! One of like three or four falls around Munising, Michigan. It's great. It's just the elevation changes with all the sandstone give you a lot of opportunity for waterfalls. In the lower peninsula, there are only like two natural waterfalls that run year round. Uh, but up here, you get them everywhere, and they're gorgeous. I'm going to bring my drone up here. <laughs> she needs to stay in the car, though. Oh, yeah. Because you can't hold her. Yep. And I can't do both. We're at Alger Falls, just outside of Munising, uh, just on the east side of town. It's right off a major highway, so Kara's not getting out here, and it's really hard to get any audio, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna film it a little bit. Hell yeah. This is some cute little waterfall right off of the highway in Munising. Alger Falls, here we are. She was going to fly the droney baloney. So there's lots of places around here you actually can't fly a drone because you could tell they probably had problems before. But this one's by a freeway or by a highway, so you know, it's fly at your own risk and just don't hit the highway. We got to film a little bit at Alger Falls before the traffic got way too overwhelming. Paid the money and here we are at Horseshoe Falls. 
Horseshoe Falls is privately owned, so you need to pay, I think, eight bucks a person. Eight bucks a person to come in. But they've got this beautiful trout pond with ducks that you can feed. And Kara can be here because there's not traffic. Oh, hello! Yeah, and there's Whitney and Kara having a good time at Horseshoe Falls. You want to keep walking toward the falls? Yeah. We're going to keep walking toward the falls. It's a giant sundial. It's super cool. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, that's right, because it's about three. Yep. Neat. Cool. So, yeah, I mean, this is what Horseshoe Falls is, man. It's kind of tourist trappy. It's got a bunch of, like, kitty stuff. It's a great place to bring little kids, but I like it because there's gnomes everywhere. This one's named Garth. There's a gnome missing. Holy shit. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, he's on the back of Manfers. They have cute little plants and shrubbery. And they clearly label what each plant is. Along the path, they have cute little fun facts about plants and trees on the Please. trail. It's cute. That one's name is Schwing, and he's on a swing. <laughs> but yeah, we're always talking about how we need to learn more about tree identification. This is the place for it, man. I said a bit tourist trappy, but it's cute. It's definitely a waterfall. It's cute. I like it. I like all the gnomes. Now let's go find some cheeseburgers. Okay. You're pretty. So we drove around and saw some lakeshore and saw some waterfalls and got some good drone footage and stuff. And then we went canoeing for a little bit. That went well. I caught a couple fish and we got some sunset pictures and now we're back at camp plan we're gonna make some dinner So we're just making some stew over here. And he's just gonna pour in some veggies into our stew. We're gonna mix them up a little bit. Red onions. You know, whatever floats your boat. It's uh, always gourmet around the My Adventure Life. camping experience and that's dinner it's kind of hard to dish out because there's smoke gets in your eyes but we're just gonna eat some stew with some bread and butter and then go to bed and oh you look cute in my hat thanks oh that looks good so we're gonna eat night guys good morning to our fans and followers both of you we're just uh, starting the cluster bleep before the big pack. Got to get everything out of the car so we can pack everything back in the car. Pulled the tarp down, pulled the rain fly off the tent. When he's packing up the stuff inside the tent and playing with Care Bear, and I'm trying to get all the stuff outside the tent organized and folded and stuff. Here at the Wide Waters Campground, we had some unexpected things happen, but it all turned out pretty great. 
And I love that I got to shoot an episode with my beautiful wife because she's wonderful. Yeah, and the dog. Everybody loves the dog. Uh, so we're gonna get packing. Okay, got the phones all synced up to the car so we could listen to the to the Dear Prudence podcast on the way home. My favorite. Hooray. And Kara's ready to go home, so we're all packed up. We're going home. It's been good at the Widewaters campground. We saw pretty much everything there's to see in Munising that's naturally beautiful. Like my wife. Thanks for coming on our adventure, guys. Uh, if you like this video, or if you didn't, you know, throw us a bone. Give it the thumbs up. Click subscribe. Uh, this has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks, guys.